Hi guys and welcome to another video tutorial here at Rachel Productions. Today I'm going to be using Blender for a different reason and that's why we have um, a video software program open called Kden Live which many people use because it's free software and I find it works very well uh, besides crashing a few times. Alright, but there is one weakness that Kden Live has and that is no effect for reversing a video track you need some other software so that's what we're going to use Blender for today um, Blender has its own video sequencing editor and um, we can use that to reverse a video track alright what I've done is I've downloaded a short uh, action strip from photo bucket just 12 seconds in mp4 and let's just position it into our editing position here. I'm going to just shorten it quickly. <clears throat> I'm just going to edit it out the beginning and delete that. You can, by the way, use Shift plus R to cut the video at the marker. I'm going to delete that and move this across. Right, Control Home will bring the video to the beginning. And I'm going to just play it. Right, a bit of an action trip there rather than a action strip. Right, now what we're going to do is um, mute the audio. We don't need any audio in this uh, situation here because we're going to be reversing the video. Um, although sometimes you will want the video to have the audio reversed as well. I'll probably show you that in another video. Alright, now we can just... Um, click on render um, I've already called it backflip edited and I'm doing that as an mp4 so let's render it, it won't take too long right now we're going to go into blender when you open blender you'll find that there is a default cube always um, this is on the default setting here and on your right hand you have your animation render settings um, we'll have a look at that just now I'm going to go straight down here to the video editing option which gives us our video sequence editor we're then going to add below here add our movie no, do not add image movie is what we want and that will bring up our mp4 which we uh, rendered from Kden Live double click now you'll notice <clears throat> sometimes when you um, when you uh, add your video clip that it's not in line with the beginning this represents the beginning of your video and you'll notice over here on the right you'll see it says start frame 2 we want it at 1 alright and you'll see it moves directly onto the beginning line there um, also sometimes um, the end of the video sequencer position will be a little bit further for example 216 okay you can just bring that down to the where the video ends and by doing that you'll see that it's at 192 so you will set this also to 192 otherwise you'll have a blank stretch of video here just a blank black uh, strip um, right now we'll just go back to default and over here you'll notice it's set to 192 as we did you can change it in this position over here as well the frame range the quality we're just going to leave that at 50 percent you can increase it to up to 100 percent but it will affect the time taken to uh, render and uh, the sequencer here under post processing you need to sometimes click that you'll find sequencer needs to be checked <coughs> so that it actually renders what you put in and then you'll also need to um, enter the where, the, well, the where, where and what the output is going to be I've named it black, backflip reversed and make sure that you do not have PNG selected otherwise you will have a series of images we want AVR raw in this case there are other options H.264 and that but this works fine for this project in Caden Live Alright, <clears throat> I'm now going to 
render this clicking animation and it shouldn't take very long okay now you'll no notice that that was rendered normal okay normally um, because we forgot to make the main thing uh, and what is it reversal okay so if we look at the video here <coughs> you'll notice that um, that is the end of the video if I click backwards under filter that becomes the end of the video and obviously that's the beginning alright so it's reversed the video so let me go back and render it again won't take too long alright okay Going back into Kden Live, we will delete the original strip. We'll right click on the clip monitor and select Add Clip. And right over here, we have our rev backflip reversed. It adds to the file name the number of frames 1 to 192. It's an AVI, so we need that. Sometimes um, you need to click all files because your your uh, file may not be showing up in your directory and you may also need to press F5 to refresh uh, the directory okay I'm going to now open that and we'll just drag that in there okay control home there to the beginning which was the end and reverse now great nothing wrong with that all right in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to work with this um, effect uh, by adding um, other things because if you go into the specific uh, video effect for example speed and you want to uh, speed this up by three times obviously your video will be shorter uh, but you'll notice, let's go control home again um, the video just freezes Okay, this is only a problem uh, when you are um, trying to speed it up if however you are slowing it down so that it's twice as long let's say uh, there's no problem there All right. so in the next video I'll show you how you can do that as well thanks guys for watching and please subscribe